Hello everyone, I am Callie of Gaming and welcome back to another episode of the Motorspot Manager Zero to Hero series. This is episode 16 and we are going to round 7 of the Guildford Grand Prix of F2 2020. Of course, it's season 2 and uh, hopefully we can get some good results, some decent results and get some points. Uh, standings wise, uh, Laxanen is P9 and Menchaka is down in P14, so that's not too great. So let's go to the pit crew side of stuff and let's change uh, no auto pit crew management. Oh, oh my god, this is not great. This is not great. Everyone's like yellow. Hopefully, we can switch some of them out. And, uh, yeah, as you can see, we don't have that much of green guys of mistake chance. We only have one in the recovery, so we're gonna take him in. And, uh, it's pretty good. He is pretty good. He's very good at, uh, tires, front air, rear jack. But we need, desperately, to, uh, put him, uh, in the tires, because... Those guys mistake chances fairly, fairly high. Uh, so that's not too great, is it? No, really not. So we definitely need to change that. And uh, yeah, let's probably continue to uh, the mail. And yeah, so mail, the breeze. Uh, gets pole, I think, or whatever. And then Kvyat wins. Car condition stuff. Motorsport, uh, BBC Sport, uh, whatever. ESPN interview. So let's accept that. Um, well, yes, our brakes are awful. And of course, I need to do it. But that will uh, lower our marketability. But that's fine, I guess. I don't really care. No, actually, I do care. But... Um, Things just go some something just something goes that way I guess. Um, so let's go to the car. It should be all fine. But before going to the car, I want to go to the sponsors because we get a new slot that we can uh, have a new sponsor. I'm thinking of going to FP Jorn in Venet et Fischit because he he gets a very good uh he pays a very good bonus payment 100,000 and he uh gives up uh, up front and only p14 or above so that's pretty decent so the chance of us getting that sponsor a uh, bonus payment is pretty high so yeah so the car repair is finished so let's go, just finally go to the car, I think. And, um, should be all fine. Improve parts. Uh, we should start, uh, concern to improve more performance than on, like, those brakes and front wings. So let's go to the Munich Grand Prix of F3 and, uh, see. Okay, interesting. Flores gets a podium. I don't know what, who's second, and I don't know who's f uh, first. So I don't really know who they are. But whatever, let's continue. Um, scouting done. I don't care about scouting people. But, I mean, they are useful, of course, but not now. Because we're just going to stick with these two for now until we go to F1, the major point, the major, the top step of the motorsport of course. So yeah, this is F1 Guildford Grand Prix and let's see who wins it. It's, oh, it's Hamilton wins it, Max Verstappen second and somehow Carlos Sainz ended up in third. That is crazy stuff. That is crazy. So, um, yeah, that's not too bad. So, um, oh, we got it. We can, uh, off. We can choose a vote. 
and uh, let's see what we're gonna choose. We we should start uh see, like, see all the rules that we can choose. We have like the mirror payments. We have the um, removal of the fastest lap, which I don't really want to do. It benefits us quite a bit, I guess. Yeah, actually, it's not I guess, but it did benefit us. From I, I don't know it's one or two Grand Prix, like I push like really hard and I get that fastest slap basically. So that is pretty much all of the uh, rules. Let's go back upwards. I think I have the decision to uh, choose the one, the 35 lap race on average. Of course, it depends on the length of the track. Of course. Um, probably, well, I, I don't want, I don't understand what these semi-sequential pit stop means, I don't, so, yeah, let's just continue on, I just think they're useless, so that's pretty much it, so yeah, we're gonna choose that one, and that will cost us one million, because, of course, everyone wants to, loves watching longer races, of course, so, yeah, it should be good to have longer races, and this, the upcoming vote, I'm gonna get that uh, vote in favour, because I am going to vote in favour, so why not get that $250,000, and uh, yeah, that will benefit us, so yeah, it should be fine. So let's continue to that vote. Um, here he goes, there's the vote. I was just gonna take off all those. Daniel Charter, I really want him in the team. Of course, I'll do it. He's my favorite driver, actually. He, he has so much charisma, really. So, yeah. Um, and that smile, of course, so, yeah. Okay, there's this new vote. Let's get into it and probably uh, I hope we can get it through but It really depends on other teams like yeah, really It's not only me but other teams can vote reject like they can vote like a lot of um, uh votes because they they can abstain and uh yeah as you can see i have four right here and uh yeah i'm gonna just vote for two i think it's fine so let's someone abstained torosso vote for dams against art grand prix for uh oh no oh no that's not great rejected Oh, that, that's a waste. That is a waste, boys. That is an absolute waste. But I can't, I can't do anything, is it? No, actually, I can. Uh, to vote more, but... Well, I can't change it. So, we'll just continue. Just continue, I guess. So, we're gonna go uh, for that sponsor, that new sponsor with 100,000 bonus payments, which is crazy. And, let's go to the F2 2020 Season 2 Guildford Grand Prix in UK. Round 7 of 15. So, now it's, of course, the usual Friday practice. Who doesn't love watching them practice and spin off the track? Um, probably someone, but I don't know. The engineers and the chief, chief uh, the CEOs probably don't want them to spin out, of course. And, uh, yeah. But, of course, the audience wants some drama, some karmas. Why not? So, um, downforce. More high downfalls. Um, a bit of understeer and acceleration on the speed balance more so let's see if it works and tiny chores of course going for that super soft same as laxanin 
um, of course, high downforce, because this is quite a fast track, I'll say. The first half of the track is very high speed, and then second part is just technical stuff, downforce, yeah, so it's about that. So let's take the practice here. So of course, first, just send them both out and get some knowledge, of course, and knowledge is quite important, really it is. So yeah, they're coming out over the pits, and okay, they're coming back in, laxing in. Um, not too good of a setup, seems like. Well, yeah, we're gonna check Laxon and set up first. Um, good, good, and good. Triple goods. So definitely there is room for improvement. Like, I usually don't do, don't improve great, because there's no point. It's just one step up. It's just excellent. There's no point, really. So, yeah, we're just gonna fix that setup. Try for it bit of twitching see if that works and this is carnage for Daravala um, it's not too great is it no really not that is a very poor speed balance more top speed seems like so they're coming back again now doesn't did not change that much is it although uh, the speed balance did change to good seems like we're struggling for the setup here in Guildford so definitely need to watch out this track it's quite hard to I guess um, to know where the where like should the setup be so yeah I think it's quite hard to manage in uh, Guildford usually it is for me so um, Laxinen Although the speed balance got uh, great, but other things, no, nah, not quite really. So we need to twitch the other, uh, the downforce. Seems like we need less downforce instead of high and handling more understeer. So interesting logics, mate. Um, of course, the first part you don't really need uh, oversteer, but the second part, the technical session section you need it you really need it so but uh let's get them out in soft tires and get some knowledge and that is pretty much it for the practice session and now let's go to the saturday qualifying in guildford and it's rainy great q1 rainy good job mate good job guildford good job and we're gonna go for super overtake mode and super soft tires. And actually, qualifying trim. I don't know actually, but um, let, let's just go for that one. And tires should be all fine. Inters and let's save their setups. Of course, inters. It's gonna rain. Actually, it doesn't seem like that much rain. So let's probably go for super soft tires instead of qualifying trim because we probably are going to use super soft tires so yeah let's take qualifying so of course actually wait a bit because I don't really know now nah, actually yeah I don't really know what the other teams are going out seems like they're still in the pits they're not going out which I don't know. Sorry for a siren outside my apartment or whatever. But yeah, I'm very sorry for that. I don't know why there is a siren, but whatever. Um, so let's send both of them out because other teams are sending them out. And uh, maybe I've gone. We have gone the wrong setup because a lot of them are uh, opting for super softs. But it, I think the rain, yeah, the rain's getting bigger. There's no way they can set a better lap time in super soft tires. So we have done the right choice, basically. So now it's three minutes left. And we're P3 and P6. I think we're going to go for a little bit later. Yeah, right now, probably. And uh, 
we're gonna send them both out, but we're gonna send them out on soft tires instead of super soft because um, we just want to conserve those tires. They're precious, of course. Uh, I only have six of them, uh, six of the super softs, and I need to uh, keep some of them for uh, for race. And uh, outlap preparation seems like pretty decent. Laxon and Minchaka, and they cross the line. It's P6 and P7, and they get into Q1. They get into Q2, I mean. They are really in Q1, so yeah. They get into Q2. That's not bad. So. It's Nick De Vries, Luca Giotto, Sean Galil, Luis De La Traz, and Nikita Mazepin out of Q1. And, uh, okay, interesting, I guess. We're only the, the ones who are, run, who are running with soft tires in Q1. Yeah, I'm just saving, saving stuff, so that's pretty much it. And now it's Q2, of course. Hopefully we can get into Q3. We have some struggles uh, for the past two or three races to get both of them into Q3 because our car has lost some performance. Lost. It doesn't mean lost, but not catching up with other teams. I mean, so um, yeah. It's, oh, they're struggling with tie attempts, Menchaka, um, but whatever I think it's all fine and at the end it's p1 and p2 but down there p11 and p13 they definitely need to go out so let's send both of them out uh right now it's a bit tight the time but it should be all fine and uh yeah So it's their outlap. And oh, now it's Laxon is struggling for tiny attempt. Um, oh, Laxon is not doing great. White first sector, green second sector though. And cross the line only P11. But Menchaka gets into Q3. So we don't have two. We don't have uh, two Q3 three appearances but we have one at least so that is good Laxonen Machlis out um, and Tiktum I think Vershur as out of Q2 and now it's the final round of the qualifying session of course we have 10 minutes so let's just send him out straight out with a worn set of super soft just to make sh just a set of ankle app yeah really just a set of ankle app and um, as a target I guess for him to be better I guess so that's not too bad of a lap I guess it doesn't seem like but at the end it's only P9 so we of course it's just a worn tiny set so yeah, and he's going out again, of course. And uh, it's not too bad of a outlap. And here it goes for the lap. It is a green sector one. It's a green sector two, so that's not too bad. And across the line, it's only P8. But that's all right, that is all right. And Alban gets pole position. Kvyat first row. It's always those three, really. There's no change, really. Just saying. Um, so that's not too bad of a qualifying. Of course, we have worse. We have much worse qualifying. No Q3 appearances. But seems like our car isn't that back. Like the underdogs, we aren't. So that's definitely a good thing. And 
we're not at the back, so that's a good thing. We're not out of Q1. So, um, people are going for Inters. So, um, we're going to go for Race Trim and Super Soft Tires for Minchaka. While uh, Laxine, we're going to go for the Refueling. That's going to help a lot. And the Race Trim. Refueling just saves so much time in the pits. And, uh, yeah. That's going to be great. Overtake, overtake. And uh, attack and attack. Albin, Paul, Kvyat, la uh, second. Norris, third. Mick Schumacher, fifth. Mawson, sixth. Robin Frines 7th, alongside with Diego Minchakan in 8th, uh, Matsushita in 9th, 10th is Lundgaard, so it's 11th is Laxanen, 12th is Machla, uh, 13th is Tictum, 14th is Wersh Vershor, uh, 15th is Jeffrey, 16th is Nick De Vries, uh, 17th is Giotto, 18th is Galil, Dilatras, and Mazepin rounds up the grid. And here he goes for the five lights. Four, five now. And here he goes for the Guildford Grand Prix. Minshaka did not get a good start here. Already down to ninth. Same as Laxanen down to 12th. Seems like our acceleration definitely needs to improve. So, yeah, that's not a great thing. And uh, is uh, P8, and there's a train back behind about 10th place because someone ran wide and blocked everyone. That's great. Uh, Menchaka, pretty decent. Someone's only using, uh, I think it's push, using uh, fuel, push, so that's a bit weird. But um, let's, as we get on into the race, still P8 cannot overtake 7th uh, place, and uh, that is lap 1. So now it's lap 9, we're going to pit Minchaka first, because um, tie wear is much worse uh, for him. So we're going for, of course, a set of super softs because he gets uh, super soft knowledge and uh, part condition wise should be all fine. And we're going to go for neutral pit stop. Uh, so here he comes in, should be all fine. It's not too bad of a pit stop. Front jack, rear jack should be all fine. And let's say uh, Laxon and pit on the next lap. Uh, trying to do an overcut on uh, on Minshaka, he got quite a large gap, but I don't think Laxanen's going to overtake him, but he will uh, close the gap, maybe the next, because we, we're definitely doing a two-stop, there's no way you can do a one-stop uh, because of the fuel problem. And Laxanen going around the technical session, section. And here he goes into the pits. Front jack, rear jack, all fine. Tires should be all fine. That is six seconds of a pit stop. That's that's decent. And now it's lap 18. And uh, of course we're going for super soft tires for both of them. And we're going to uh, add six laps of fuel. Or seven laps of fuel for Minchaka. And should be all fine. Alaxanen is just right behind him, a bit closer than uh, of the start of the Grand Prix. So here he comes in, and we're gonna pit uh, Laxanen on the le next lap, and we're gonna add six laps of fuel, I think. And part condition wise, should be all fine. And uh, yeah, should be all fine for Minchaka here. And it is a, uh, it is a no nearly nine seconds of pit slot. That's not too bad. And he has excess fuel. So let's just burn some of them and uh, push the fuel, of course. As well as probably reduce that to uh, neutral. So Laxanen is going into the pits now. Will he jump? Mr. Minchaka, here he comes. Should be all fine. 
And that is, oh my god, that's a full 0.7 seconds of pit stop. That's like a very slow pit stop but with no refueling. And here he comes, and he absolutely chums me in Sharka. That's an overcut attempt. And now it's the final lap where P7 and P8 were just burning tires, overheating. But we don't care, we really don't care because we set the fastest lap. And, uh,. Yeah, P7, P8, decent point. That is not too bad. That's pretty decent. Of course, we can't get into F1 that soon. Of course. Um, but that is decent. So that's the tie history. Uh, should be pretty fine. Uh, there's not much to be said about. So let's head on to uh, Scrantineering. Should be nothing. Uh, nothing big so yeah and let's continue as you can see Mitch uh, Laxanen gets the fastest lap and some more points for us that's uh, I think that's eight points if I'm not mistaken and Laxanen ninth Minchaka 14th still so that's kind of a great thing constructors why we're still seventh and team report, uh, everyone, of course, usually they get an increase of uh, driver stats. And uh, I came fourth. That's going to be a marketability, marketability boost. And we have lost about $300,000 usually. That's a bit less because we got that uh, bonus payment from that sponsor. And uh, Alban, of course, absolutely smashed it. And that is the end of this today uh, today's episode. Hope you guys fully enjoy. Uh, please be sure to smash that like button and subscribe button. And next time we'll head on to the Munich Grand Prix again for but it's just round for round two, and uh, it's a different uh, track setup. So we'll meet you guys there. Hope you guys fully enjoy, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.